Super Idols in Cologne right back Kingsley Ehizivoy has been ranked the third fastest player in the history of the German Bundesliga behind Borussia Dortmund's Ashraf Hakimi and Bayer Leverkusen's Moussa Diaby. According to Optus Sports, the Dutch Nigerian recorded a speed of 38.85 km per hour on March Day 7 against Schalke, the fastest in the Bundesliga since records began before his record was broken by Hakimi. Ehizabwe has now been rated to bring more quality to the Super Eagles team should he make his international debut against Sierra Leone on March 27. Jamilu Collins has emerged as an injury worry for the Super Eagles ahead of their 2021 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers against Sierra Leone this month. Hardborn manager Steven Bogmat is sweating over the fitness of the Niger International ahead of his side's Bundesliga meeting against Fortuna Düsseldorf on Friday. Collins was excused from Paderborn's first training session for the week to, due to an ankle injury. Well, it is unclear when he will resume full training with the rest of his teammates. Management of Nasara United Football Club have approved the conduct of an autopsy on late Chino Mayor Martins to unravel the remote cause of his sudden death. This was contained in a statement signed by media officer of the club, Eche Amos, and made available to newsmen in Lafia yesterday. Nasara United government has announced the approval of new safety measures to protect footballers from sudden health hazards while on pitch of play at the Lafia Township Stadium. The State's Commissioner for Youth and Sports Development, Hoffman Bala Adam, told newsmen in Lafia that the measures included the provision of facilities and employment of staff. Nigeria Professional Football League and PFL club side Lobby Stars head coach Bingao Gumbote has insisted that his team will not give up on the league title race. The title contender gave away two goals league to play out a draw 2-2 at the Upper Aku Stadium in the match day 23 against Cano Pilas last Sunday. The draw means Lobby Stars is the only team in the top three that failed to win last weekend as title rivals Plateau United and Rivers United all secured valuable wins to extend the advantage over the Ogumbote's men. The Nigeria Professional Football League legend and players advisor Victor Ezeji says the effort of the home-based players in the Nigerian leagues and not being recognized hence the invitation of just one home-based player in the Super Eagles squad for 2021 African qualifiers against Sierra Leone. His agent told newsmen that the exemption of home-based player is absurd and it's down to a foundation problem, adding that every footballer's aim is to wear his national team's colours. Nigeria Professional Football League outfits MFM Football Club of Lagos has reinstated coach Tony Bolus as the head of team's technical crew. Bolus was appointed as a successor to former coach Fidelis Ilechuku, who ended his 14-year association with the club at the end of last season. Upon his return, Bolus' immediate task is to revive the team and save them from the current relegation battle. Club chairman of Kogi United, Abdul Sule, says stringent medical checkups should be given to all players during players' registration before the commencement of the league season. The former Super Eagles offender reacted to the death of Nasara United defender Chenemay Martins, who slumped on the page of play in the game against Katsina United at the Lafia City Stadium last Sunday. Speaking with newsmen, he said there is a need to prevent such an ugly incident in the league again. Zambia has qualified for the 2020 Women's Olympic Games bill for Tokyo after clinching the sole automatic ticket from Africa. Bruce Mwakwe's ladies defeated Cameroon 2-1 in the second leg of the final round encounter of the African Women's Olympic qualifiers to book their sport on away goals after a 4-4 aggregate draw. In the first leg in Yaoundé, the indomitable Lionesses earned a 3-2 comeback win when Abudi Ungenics Brace, along with Ajara Unchut's strike, subdued the visitors after Grace Chander's double. The result means Zambia becomes the third Southern African nation to qualify for the Summer Games after South Africa 
and Zimbabwe. Head coach for the Black Stars of Ghana, Charles Puebla Akono, has stressed that he is committed to giving home-based players a chance on the team. At a press conference in Accra last week, the gaffer handed call-ups to four players from Ghana Premier League in his 23-man squad that will pitch camp later this month ahead of Ghana's encounter against Sudan in the qualifiers to the 2020 Africa Cup of Nations African Tournament. Speaking to journalists after unveiling the squad, coach C.K. O'Connor urged pl local players to up their game while indicating that he wants to bridge the gap between the professional players and the local players in the Blackstars team. Everton are keeping a close eye on Durandon de Bordeaux, promising Nigerian striker Josh Maja. Everton and Chelsea have been keeping tabs on the former Sunderland youth product as recently as the January transfer window. Maja left former Premier League club Sunderland in 2019 January window in a deal worth the region of £3.5 million, becoming a regular feature for Le Girondin. RB Leipzig's Marcel Sabita scored two early goals as the East passed last year's finalist Tottenham Hotspur 3-0 in the UEFA Champions League last 16 second leg yesterday. The victory helped the German side to reach their first quarterfinals 4-0 on aggregate. Jose Mourinho's team were without a win in any competition since their 1-0 first leg defeat by RB Leipzig in London last month. In another match, visiting a Atalanta's Josep Ilicic scored four goals in a stunning individual display to lead them to a 4-3 UEFA Champions League last 16 second leg win over Valencia. The Italian side thus completed an 8-4 aggregate victory at an empty Mistala Stadium. In today's fixture, PSG will battle Dortmund. Spanish La Liga has confirmed that first and second division football matches will be staged behind closed doors for at least two weeks due to the coronavirus. The measures follow the decision of the Spanish High Council of Sport that all sporting events in Spain at state and international level should be played without fans to limit the spread of the virus. Real Madrid's game against Eva at the Santiago Bernabeu on Friday will be the weekend's first fix fixture affected as authorities step up attempts to contain the outbreak. Two local derbies will also go ahead in empty stadium as Valencia face Levante at Mistala on Saturday before Sevilla host Real Betis at the Ramon Sanchez Pigeon on Sunday night. Spain had registered more than 1,500 cases of coronavirus on Tuesday with a decision made on Monday to close all schools in the Madrid area from today until the end of March. Paris Saint-Germain are sweating on the fitness of star striker Kylian Mbappe, who has picked up a throat infection ahead of today's Champions League last 16 return leg against Dortmund. The French World Cup star missed team training on Monday and yesterday and was reported to have a sore throat, with his club needing to overturn a 2-1 deficit from their first leg defeat in Germany two weeks ago. Mbappe has scored six goals in his last three PSG matches. Real Madrid will almost certainly be without injured goalkeeper Thibaut Cota and defender Marcello for their UEFA Champions League last 16 second leg clash with Manchester City on March 17. The Spanish club confirmed on Tuesday that Cota has a groin injury and Marcello is suffering from a hamstring problem. Spanish media reported that the injuries would keep them both out of Friday's La Liga match against Eva and the UEFA Champions League showdown with Manchester City. The Italian Football Federation, FIGC, says the Serie A season may not finish because of the coronavirus outbreak. A statement confirmed yesterday the Serie A would stop until 3rd of April following a government decree issued on Monday. FIGC President Gabriel Gravina also, forward, also put forward alternative options if the season cannot be concluded. The first leg of Manchester United's Europa League last 16 tie at LASK tomorrow will be played behind closed doors because of coronavirus concerns. Chelsea's Champions League last 16 tie at Bayern Munich on 18th of March would also be played without fans present.
Manchester City boss Pep Guardiola says he would prefer matches to be postponed rather than played behind closed doors. Having seen matches across Europe played in empty stadiums, Guardiola feels it is only a matter of time before the Premier League is affected. The city manager said he will be guided by the game's authorities about how games should be played, but his preference would be postponement. Chilean Health Minister of Football, James Manelich, says stars Alexis Sanchez and Arturo Vidal will be quarantined when they return to their home country from Europe. The players who are signed to European clubs are to feature in a World Cup qualifier this month. They are due to fly first to Uruguay for a World Cup qualifier on March 26 and then to Chile to face Colombia. A Paraguayan judge has ordered Brazilian football legend Ronaldinho to remain in jail after his lawyer's request that he be released on bail or to house arrest was rejected. Ronaldinho and his brother, Roberto, were arrested last Friday and held in pre-trial detention in Asuncion for entering Paraguay using forged documents. Brazil of 50,000 naira and 100,000 naira to Commonwealth champions Blessing Oborududu, who won a record 10th consecutive African title in all years last month, and Odwayo Adukuroye for becoming the first Nigerian wrestler to qualify for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, a feat she achieved by winning a bronze medal at the World Championships in Kazakhstan last year. The new wrestlers inducted into the prestigious cha Champions Club are Ikereme Ajomo, 86 kg, Hannah Rubin, 65 kg, Bosse Samuel, 53 kg, and Bisola Makonjola, 59 kg, who won their first continental titles in 2018 at the African Championships in Port Harcourt. The Nigeria Fo Volleyball Federation Chairman, Media and Publicity, Kenide Lamidi, says the Federation had invited eight players to prepare ahead of CAV Continental Cup. Lamidi told newsmen in Lagos that the Federation needed to prepare for the second phase of the Olympic qualifier. He said the Olympic qualifier was scheduled to hold between March 19 and March 23 in Mozambique. Coach of Nigeria's cricket national team, Utha Ubimi, Ubimi had ruled the postponement of the month's Africa Cricket Association Championship of occasion by the dreaded coronavirus and the need to take precautionary measures. Ubimi speaking in a chat with newsmen said the postponement had disrupted the program of the team who was scheduled to be in Zimbabwe currently to intensify preparation for the competition after having had the first leg of preparation. And that's it on Kenneth Sports and Kenneth 104.1 FM. You're still listening to Kenneth in the morning.